Hey everybody, this is Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're working in Word and I'm going to show you how to create a template. Templates are really nice and they come in handy if you have a document that you are creating repeatedly, whether it be monthly, weekly, daily, it doesn't matter. It's always nice to have a template. So from a blank Word document, we're going to go to File, New, and if you look, Microsoft has tons of different templates you can choose from. You have certificates of award, project list. Uh, there was one in here for a baby shower. But we're going to go up here and we're going to type in invoice. And when we do that, you'll notice several different documents come up. Sales quotes, project scopes, accounts receivable ledger. But for the purposes of this, we're going to choose this invoice here. And this is a template that comes pre-filled with some information and a layout for you to either enter as it is, or this can be changed. You can change this header, you can change the comments here, you can change the name, the invoice number, the tag, anything that you really want to. So I'm going to put up here my company. And here I'm going to put my company is awesome, or at least I think so. And that's what I'm going to change for right now. So if you see, this says document four. So it's a Word document right now. To save it as a template, let's do File, Save As. And I'm just going to pick a folder I created on my desktop. And I'm going to call this uh, Invoice Master Copy. And if you noticed, it has defaulted to a regular Word document. Well, that's not what we want because we're creating an actual template. So in the drop down, go down to Word Template, tell it OK, and then Save. And if you look, it changed this now. Instead of saying Document 4, it says Invoice Master Copy. And let me show you what that does. That's our actual template. So I'm going to close out of here um, and I'm going to show you what happened because no matter where you try to save it, Microsoft saves it to a folder called Custom Office Templates. And that's something that happens in the background that we have no control over, but what it's used for is really neat and comes in handy. So now if we go to File and New, if you notice this is the same place we were before when we went to pick our template, but there's something here called Personal and if you click there, these are all the templates that you've created and I've created uh, in one place where we don't have to go through all of those other ones to find the ones that we've done. So if I double click on this, there's our template with our changed information. So if I want to use this, and I'm just going to fill in some information here to show you what it does. Just a quantity of one. Um, it's snowing here in Lexington where I'm at. So let's put a snow blower. A unit price of 1500. I have no idea what they cost. It may be more than that. And I'm going to pretend that they are tax exempt. And I'm going to fill that information in. Now what I'm going to do is if you notice it changed it back to even though we're in our template it says document 5 so it's kind of like it has a document open with the template overlaid on it so we're not making changes to the actual template we're making changes to this document so let's do a file save as let's go back to this folder and I'm going to name this uh, Melissa uh, Williams okay so now you can see it's defaulting to a regular Word document, which is fine. And we're going to save it. Okay. So let's look at two more things. First, let's go back to our actual template, File New, Personal. And what we just entered about that customer is not here. This template will not change unless you change it and resave it. So that data is protected. I'm going to tell it not to save. And now if we go to file, and I'm just going to open it from here because this is where I saved it, our customer Melissa Williams, there's your information. So you've created a template that is reusable and it doesn't have to be updated unless there's something you need to update on it. So 
there is how you create a template in Word. And if you like this video, please be sure to like it. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel because every day I'm putting out a new video um, of some kind of software and how to do something within it. So again, thanks for watching and have a great day. And hopefully you'll tune in tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.